Let me ask you a question. How many of you ever seen a construction site? Please raise your hand. Well, some of you. What if I tell you that in that occasion you had the amazing opportunity to be a time traveler, as in Back to the Future? Let me explain. This is a painting from 1590. This picture is from 1894, while this one is more recent just a few years back. All these images are about a construction site, and if you look closer, you will notice that the, main, the same features are the same. You see cranes, scaffoldings, workers around, rubble here and there, no big differences. I am probably exaggerating a bit, but all evidence shows that in 2018, construction is amongst the least automated industries with a productivity rate which is comparable to the Second World War. How can this be sustained, if it is sustainable at all? Especially when considering the urge of addressing some major global challenges we face today. In fact, over the next 30 years, it is expected the strongest increase of urban population ever, with a pace of growth equivalent to building a new city with 1.6 million people every week. And while this happens, we shall manage the most severe environmental crisis that requires all of us to drastically address our daily behavior alongside the way we design, execute, and use our buildings. I am an engineer working in construction, and despite all of that, I believe that today we have the opportunity and the responsibility to address a systemic change of the construction industry, led by the development and use of a new set of digital tools. And to be effective in this process of transformation, I think we need to address three main aspects. The first one, we need to do better for the environment through the design and engineering process, considering that construction today is responsible for 40% of the overall CO2 emissions and consumes 60% of the planet resources. Second, we need to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness in the way we design and build, so that we can make our building faster with lower cost and higher quality. And third, I believe we should generate a positive impact on our society. And this both applies to the safety conditions of the construction workers, for example, and also to the delivery of quality buildings and homes where people can live and prosper. So let's start with the first one. How can construction do better for the environment? I believe that the key of success here is reverting the paradigm of our linear economy, where growth is associated to resource depletion in a take, make, use, dispose model. And rather, we should accelerate the transition to a circular economy, where growth is decoupled from resource consumption. As we did for this project, the circular house done in London in 2016, we need to change the way we design and engineer our buildings and think them as the physical place where materials, components, and systems are just temporarily stored before being reintroduced into another productive cycle. And that's why we're working on the concept of buildings as asset banks, where resources are digitally tracked through the full construction process. So to collect and reuse them for the next building. And under this approach, I believe that buildings should be more like products that can be assembled and disassembled, very much like a Lego system. So my second point, how can construction improve its efficiency and effectiveness? From a design perspective, we need to embrace the power of computational design to optimize our design choices, as you see in this video, where the different design options are assessed in real time at a different scale from the city to the infrastructure and the building to check impacts on key parameters like the overall geometrical dimensions or the construction costs. And on this front, I believe that machine learning and artificial intelligence will improve even more our decision-making process, so to generate the most effective outcome in the shortest time frame with the highest quality. And I also believe that we need to transform construction into a data-driven industry, where data are consistently shared, stored, and connected 
through digital platforms, as you see in this other video, where the digital environment is superimposed to the physical world, thanks to augmented reality, increasing the building performance and its operations as well. And what really fascinates me is the democratic power of digital tools that are increasingly available and accessible across the globe. Even through smart mobile devices, they are at reach of about 3 billion people globally, and this number is going to increase in the future. So, if it is true that every good building starts with a good design, the opposite is not always true. Think about the Leaning Tower in Pisa. Even the most efficient design process is at risk when transferred into the physical world. In fact, construction typically causes most of the mistakes and inefficiencies. So, differently from traditional construction tools, digital fabrication allows to execute buildings more efficiently and effectively, thanks to the use of advanced manufacturing tools, like robots. But what does it mean? Practice, what does it mean to us? So, we explore the opportunities offered by 3D printing at the building scale by making this temporary building in the city center of Milan together with other industry partners. And we did use computational design to optimize the shape of the building, and we make it in modules that can be assembled, disassembled, and reassembled somewhere else. And we use a robot manipulator to print directly on site, so we minimize the materials use because we place it, thanks to this process, just where needed. And we didn't use formwalks, we didn't use scaffoldings, so we increased the construction speed so that the overall construction time has been only 48 hours. And more importantly, by using these robots, we create shapes that couldn't be possible with traditional construction methods. So even though digital fabrication is still early stage in construction, I believe opportunities will grow in the future and will not be limited just to buildings, but rather extend to infrastructure, as for this project that we did in Amsterdam with some industry partners. And the idea for this 3D printed stainless steel bridge is that the robot manipulator moves from one side to the other across the span of the bridge while printing this unique and complex shape. And 3D printing is only one option of digital fabrication. In fact, I think that digital tools and construction robots might look very different in the future. In fact, their development is going to be mediated by the constraints of the construction site. And this will possibly result in less advanced, but nonetheless effective solution that can spread even more broadly. And this leads me to the third point. How can construction and digital tools provide benefits to the people across the globe? One of the main concerns is that digital tools might replace human labor. And I believe that this might happen for some extent, especially for time-consuming and very repetitive tasks. However, I don't think that digital tools will replace human creativity and intuition that will remain essential for any construction process. I rather think there would be many more advantages. For example, advanced construction tools might de-risk the construction sector by taking over on high-risk operation, Digital design and effective fabrication can provide a solution to the housing crisis by streamlining the production process, lowering down the cost for the single unit, and increasing the quality of the homes so that more people can have access to high-quality buildings and homes. And also, digital fabrication allows to make very complex shapes. And as we know, form of variety is at the core of the beauty of our cities. And finally, the use of advanced construction tools might be key to build in remote and hard-to-reach areas of our planet, or even one day might be instrumental to extend human presence onto other planets. So I'm really excited about the opportunities ahead in construction. I believe we just started a journey that would profoundly change the way our buildings are designed, engineered, and executed. And digital tools will allow finding more effective design solutions and will help us to shape a better world by making our future buildings healthier, faster, and better. Thank you.